fastest sport on skates. Four athletes at a time, battling shoulder to shoulder. Over 250 athletes from 20 different nations. 10 races, but only one can become world champion. Decision day. Decision day. Decision day. We are ready here in St. Paul, Minnesota, USA for the 2016 season finale of Red Bull Crashed Ice, the Ice Cross Downhill World Championship. I'm Trace Worthington here alongside sport expert Troy Mannering. We've got your back here at the final stop. All right, once again, St. Paul, you guys are the judges in honor. I got this heavyweight belt giveaway to the winner of the DJ battle. So make some noise. All right, so here we are. Is uh, this is the rerun of the round of 64, where we have? Yeah, there was a bit of, a, a, a bit of a problem. With that. Max Dunn was in this one, and he survived that race. And now he's got to go back up there. So Max Dunn of the United States, Jared Leto. That's where he stalled and looked and challenged it, and he had a few words with the ref. But they looked back at the replay and decided that it was the fault of the gate and it's not opening properly That's so they right. rerun the yeah. race so they they did make a uh, a call up at the top there and thought that it was an unfair start because of the five second warning so now we have max dunn marcel boschens ty roth and yereleto in there again to rerun this race now max dunn won the race before when they ran it the first time so he's going to be really focused on trying to get out and getting that position again he's really quick out of the gate just let's see if he can get her done. Well, Max Dunn from Burnsville, Minnesota. That's only about a 25 minute drive south of St. Paul, Minnesota. He's 25 years old. He's a former All-American college decathlete. So he's uh, fit, ready to, he's fit, ready to go. You got John Fisher just chilling in the start house up there. Cameron Nas, he looks very solid tonight, especially in that round of 64. There's Tommy Merritt's next to him in the uh, white and orange and on the other side in the white and red from Canada, Adam and then, of course, you can't miss Dean Moriarty in the pink there. <laughs> All right, here we go. So a rerun from the round of 64. Runners ready! We'll see if Leto's gate opens morning. this time. Top two advance. Here we go. Well, it's a good start. And again, Max Dunn with a, a slight lead as he gets through nice and clean. He's got to get out there and stay solid. Yereleto is sitting in fourth place, battling hard. Here comes Marcel Bochons and uh, Ty Roth pushing hard. Bochens is in second place at the moment. Ty Roth. Here's where it gets crazy. Right through the rhythm section into this last hit. Oh, Dunn will do it again. Bochens is going to do it with Max Dunn. Good job for those two guys. Ty Roth, who went with him the first time, gets eliminated. So that's a bit of a bummer for Tyler Roth because he actually made it through the first time they raced with Max Dunn and the uh, Yereleto. You know, the squeaky wheel gets the grease. He got his rerun, but he got across that finish line in fourth place. So for him, it didn't really make a difference. And they will challenge Cameron Nas and Mirko Latte in the first heat of the men's round of 32. You see Boshens just, just managing to get his feet back underneath him over the volcano. And that's got to be a big bummer for Ty Roth, who had a great race the first time around. Max Dunn looking confident, feeling good as he comes across there. Correct. Right. 